is a toothless lorry. And the reason it doesn't have any teeth there is because somebody has cut its teeth out. Mm -hmm. You see? Bad trade there. Surely among the top ten cutest creatures on the planet. And therein lies their problem. They may look cute, but they're wild animals with a painful and venomous bite, unique among primates. So pet traders cruelly rip out their teeth with pliers before selling them on. Who's buying them? It's normally people from middle class. They just see them in the markets, they think they are cute, and they just buy them, they keep them as pets. That's illegal, isn't it? It is. How do they get away with that? The same as the animals are not just traders. They are sometimes uh, big mafias and networks of people, probably in quite higher positions, you know. It's, it's a very profitable business. It's a business worth up to $10 billion a year globally. Wildlife trade is definitely one of the top illegal activities after drugs and arms. 12 hours ago, we were up that mountain with Willis the Loris. Now we're down here with millions of people. Shinta and I headed towards Jakarta, Indonesia's vast capital city, to find out more about this hugely damaging illegal trade in wildlife. More than 30 million people live in the area around this city. Most of them seem to be on our train. Where the hell are they going? To the roof. They're going to the roof? Yeah. I'll yeah. sit on your back and you stand the whole way. What a gentleman, Simon. <laughs> Vibrant and exciting, Jakarta's the centre of the booming Indonesian economy. But I'd heard about a pet market in the centre of town with a reputation for selling endangered species. It's an open street market, but I've been warned that violent criminal gangs control it and our TV cameras would not be welcome. So it was time to go undercover with hidden cameras. God. Conditions they're being held in are totally inappropriate for any creature. You are not happy, are you? You poor things. Thousands of creatures are sold here, and many of them are smuggled out of the country. Among the birds and domestic animals, we saw cages containing long-tailed macaques, leaf monkeys, and even eagles in cramped, unhealthy conditions. Within just a few minutes, we'd spotted slow lorises. So this is a, an endangered slow loris. It's rare, it's endangered. It's for sale by the side of the main road. 500,000. So that's less than 50 pounds. I was told that traders in the area can supply orangutans and even tigers, creatures that are on the brink of extinction in parts of Indonesia. 